In this video, we bring to you, the unbelievable story of Jurgen Klopp's seventh season as manager. From the highs of winning, the Champions League with Liverpool, to the lows of relegation with Mainz, and what may have caused their disastrous campaign. This is a story the world needs to hear. Liverpool fans have been blaming everything from Mohamed Salah's deform, to Sadio Mane departures, or Cody Gakpo, and Darwin Nunez's, inability to cope with a new team, but what may have really caused Liverpool's poor performance. Athletics Kick, shares the story of Klopp's seventh season, and what may have caused Liverpool's disastrous campaign. Jurgen Klopp, the Reds' boss, has experienced his fair share of bad luck, catastrophe, calamity, cataclysm, failure, and tragedy, in his seventh season at every club he has previously managed, and usually his seventh season used to be his final season. The German led Dortmund to its, first ever domestic double, Liverpool to the Premier League title, after 30 years in the 2019-2020 season, and the Champions League in 2018-19. Hailed as one of the best managers, of the current generation, Klopp too has a time cycle of building a team, taking it to the pinnacle, and then tapering off a process that almost every football manager goes through. Klopp's seventh season at his previous two jobs, has proved to be his last. And that record might worry Reds fans, with a second title under the German seemingly slipping away already. Klopp, first made a name for himself at Mainz, the club he spent almost all of his playing career. After retirement as a player, and took over the club in February 2001, whereby he guides them to the Bundesliga, for the first time in their history. Mainz even qualified for the UEFA Cup under Klopp, but in his seventh season, things turned sour. Three years after the streets of Mainz celebrated him for taking them to the promised land, they were relegated back to Bundesliga 2. Klopp did stick around, to try and take them back, but after he failed at the first attempt, he resigned in June 2008. The German, next popped up at Borussia Dortmund, the following month, where he graduated to international stardom, leading them to back-to-back -back Bundesliga triumphs, and a Champions League final. However, again in his seventh season, Dortmund struggled. At Christmas, Dortmund found themselves rooted to the bottom of the table, staring into the abyss with seemingly no escape route. Unbelievably, Klopp turned it around, but Dortmund still finished 13th, 11 points above the drop zone, and left the club in June 2015. And all of that leads, us to Merseyside, where Klopp is leading the Reds, into his seventh season at the helm. Liverpool's boss brought his counter-attacking play from Borussia Dortmund, which they still play today. He has been with the Reds since October 2015. Liverpool was held on the opening day, of the season by Fulham, before Crystal Palace, proved a tricky obstacle for Klopp's men. On two draws, the Reds travelled to Old Trafford, to be embarrassed by an under-firing Manchester United. Liverpool fans, could be looking nervously over their shoulder, as Jurgen Klopp's seven-season curse could haunt the Reds, after their dismal start to the season. After 23 matches, last season's runners-up currently find themselves, languishing in the Premier League mid-table, 21 points behind leaders Arsenal, 9 points from the top 4. The season has been underwhelming, for the Merseyside club, to put it mildly. Manager Jurgen Klopp, seems to have accepted that his team, is struggling at the moment, and has redrawn his targets. Klopp is in the third management job of his career. At every club he has been at, the German has left a legacy. Liverpool, is a club running with budget limitations, unlike Manchester City, Manchester United, Newcastle, Chelsea, and Paris Saint-Germain. Owners Fenway Sports Group, FSG, are not among the wealthiest owners, hence, it becomes imperative for Liverpool, to get a Champions League spot every season, for maintaining parity, with other big clubs, by buying quality players. Given the current predicament, of the side on the field, and the form of other clubs, at the top end of the table, it seems highly unlikely that Liverpool, will get into the Champions League, through a conventional route. The alternative way of doing it, is by winning the Champions League. They will be facing Carlo Ancelotti's, Real Madrid in the round of 16, second leg after being thrashed 5-2 at Anfield, in which it will be hard for them, to progress to the next stage. From the player side, there are a lot of dead legs in the squad, Van Dijk has been the leader of the defense, since January 2018. Nevertheless, he has looked completely off-color this season. After returning from World Cup, duty for the Netherlands, he has looked fatigued, and got injured in a game against Brentford, ruling him out for a few weeks. The midfield too, has been a reason for this ongoing debacle. Thiago Alcantara, Jordan Henderson, and Fabinho, don't have the legs anymore, to execute Klopp's intense pressing system. 
Nabi Keita, and Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, spend more time on the bench than on the field. Some are signing Arthur Melo, from Juventus got injured without starting a game. Youngsters, Harvey Elliott, and Curtis Jones, are too inexperienced to turn the ship around. Despite the crisis in defense, and midfield, the management continues to load, the front line with attackers. When the side needed midfielders, the owners brought in another winger, in Cody Gokpo in the January transfer window. Liverpool now has seven players for the front line, but not enough in other areas. It is unfair to glibly dismiss Klopp, as a failure when considering his six final, defeats without considering the opposition, circumstances, and the nature of the undoing. After all, how many managers amass 97 points in the Premier League, yet still don't win the title? Surely there is some dark magic at work? The idea of a curse, involving Klopp at Liverpool was floating around, just a few months into his reign at Anfield, after he took the club to the Europa League, and League Cup finals only to lose both. Prior to his appointment with Liverpool, he guided Dortmund to four finals, and lost all but one. Most notable is, of course, the 2-1 loss to Klassiker rivals, Bayern Munich in the 2013 Champions League final. Klopp's curiously, unsuccessful quest for many trophies at Anfield, combined with Liverpool not having won the league title since 1992, has caused some Reds fans to bemoan that their club has been a victim of dark arts. Will Klopp be sacked? That is the question, every football fan, want to get answer about. Klopp has never been sacked before, in his career despite, drop-offs in his seventh season. He always left on his own terms. He always had a very good relationship with the owners, and fans at his previous clubs, and the same is the case at Liverpool too. When the club was in shambles in 2015, at the end of the Brendan Rodgers era. Klopp united the fans, and the club again, and reignited the belief among fans, that Liverpool can win top honours again. Klopp is contracted till the summer of 2026. He has been one of the most, successful managers of Liverpool. He brought the Premier League title, after 30 years in the 2019-2020 season, and the Champions League in 2018-19. Last season, the side could have won all the major trophies, and become the first men's side, in English football to do a quadruple. However, they fell short of Manchester City, by one point in the league, and lost to Real Madrid 1-0, in the Champions League final. The Reds won the Carabao Cup, and English FA Cup. After achieving so much, does Klopp have the energy to build another cycle? That is what most fans will love to see, and hope he will not leave Liverpool, this season. But if he does, the seventh season curse will be proven to be true. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel, and click on the notifications, for more videos on your favorite sport. And until the next one, please stay tuned.